Hey guys, today we're going to be paying off a home loan and catching bugs that were missing in our museum. Yesterday I finished the fish and the deep sea creatures, so hopefully today we catch up on the bugs. Sup, carrot cake and sacred sorcerer. Do you guys like my shirt? Oh. <laughs> I just want you guys to know that, like, I almost died showing you guys that. So you better appreciate it. <gasps> really? Do you still have it? You should send me a picture of it. <laughs> Thank you! It's very hot and you it's been like that all week, but today I actually was like, let me braid my hair so that I don't melt. Wolf Link. Well, it's so strange when I reread the heartfelt letter you sent me, I felt all cheerful. I wonder how one gets as talented with words as you are. Thank you, Carrot Cake. Oh no, uh, this is a letter from the ABD. It's from the campground. What did I buy from the campground? The gift pile, okay. I'm going to be stockpiling those. Oh my god, why? Still, only ants. I don't know what's up with that. No. Oh yeah, it rained yesterday, so now these things are coming up. Motherfuck. Well, I hope he appreciates your cross stitch. <laughs> wow. Okay. Dug up way more tiles than I needed to. No, I can't because the Wi Fi is terrible. So hopefully, Nintendo announces something on the Switch soon because it's. It's like a combination of things. This is an old 3DS. Motherfuck. This is an old 3DS that I'm streaming on. And um, streaming takes up a lot of bandwidth. So I think like a combination of those two things makes it really hard. And I think just for some reason the Animal Crossing servers like aren't that great. Because Nintendo. No love for us from Nintendo. Money. Has she not been able to walk, take walks recently? Oh, yeah. All right, let's go on Potter real quick. Do his money rock. Fix the paths. You know, you guys know the deal. Oh, I see. Oh, that makes sense. It's just like how, like, with babies, you have to be careful with them until they get all their vaccinations and stuff.
So has she been like destroying your house with puppy rage because she hasn't been getting her walks? I'm sure she'll be better once she can get once she can start going outside and stuff. Damn it, too slow. Okay. I'm sure. <laughs> But it's good that she can get her vaccinations soon. Or oh, tomorrow, actually. Do you ever get the feeling when you cut down an animal crossing tree? Um... Yeah, it depends. Like, if it's... For paths, like when I begin the like landscaping part of my town, no, but if like I have to rework an area, yeah. My leg is so itchy. I got bit by a mosquito this morning. <laughs> Why are you making that face at me? <laughs> We got two of our fossils. Are these fully... I don't think so. I think they have one more day before they grow. Thanks for the follow, Cheeto Burrito! <laughs> Oh, and good day to you, youngster. Walking in the evening while well, always makes me feel uneasy. By the way, is there something you needed from me? May I have a badge? Yes, give me a badge. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, it seems like you enjoy catching bugs. It makes this old man relieved to see you found a way to great enjoy the great outdoors. I've got the perfect badge for you. If you keep being good, the badge man will bring you a new badge, okay? Aw, snare. I got the skill, the bug catcher badge. It's proof I've caught a lot of bugs. Hell yeah. Do you got do you got another badge for me, Phineas? Huh? Huh? Yes. Mm-hmm, I see. Ark Ark, it seems like you enjoy diving for things. It makes this man relieved to see you found a way to enjoy the vast oceans out there. I've got the perfect badge for you. Sup some person. If you keep being good, the badge man will bring you a new badge. Okay. I've got the skill diver badge. It's proof I found lots of things in the sea. Oh, okay. Only those two, but that's pretty good. Alright, we can admire our uh, new badges here. 
Thank you, Carrot Cake. I'm glad you enjoy the channel. Hello, some person. How are you? Let's see. Okay. Is this... Which one did he give us? Instant... Oh, no. Okay. He gave us Skilled Bug Catcher and I believe Skilled Diver. Those are the ones that we just got. So, you know, the badge page is coming along nicely. If I do say so myself... Oh, I got bit by a mosquito again. Okay. Not fun. And cash for clutter. Okay, I saw an eye retail. They want me to catch a scorpion! <laughs> oh man. Uh, am I gonna catch a scorpion? Um, I have to. Today, I kinda wanna focus on filling up the empty parts of the museum, the bugs. So, if a bug requires me to be out at 11 p.m. in town to catch it, if I see a scorpion, I will try and catch it. Am I specifically gonna waste my time hunting for a scorpion? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> like, if you guys ever watch American Idol, uh, which is, I think it's Randy, and he goes like, it's a no for me, dog. <laughs> Hunting for it is not going to happen. Oh, there's a sign. Attention customers, today from 7 p.m. All items in the store will be half price. Don't miss your chance at a great deal. Cool. I think we're missing one more fossil. So it's Yep, one more. Alright, let's go find it. Hey Sterling. Oh, oh ah Okay, no problem. <laughs> so yeah, my, uh, what? You want I am not trading you my emerald from right here. No way. That is not a fair trade. Motherfucker. Right. I'm gonna have to go on Potter again to fix that because I just. It's gonna bother. Especially because, like, I don't wanna forget about it and then have a fossil spawn there and then, like, go crazy looking for the fossil. Wait, oh, here it is. It spawned at the outskirts of town. Alright, Potter, do your thing. Oh, I think I have the table. Did I have something in retail that I had sized working off him? I don't remember. So, we're gonna check it now. And again, I keep forgetting to get my daily cup of coffee from Brewster, so I sh should probably do that today. I should get a Brewster shirt. Like a sweater, maybe, because both of the Animal Crossing... Oh, no, I didn't have anything for him. Both of the things I have right now from Animal Crossing uh, are t-shirts. Also, I'm pretty sure Amazon lied on their description bar because they said that the shirt I bought... They said it was woman sizing, and typically I'm like an extra small or small, depending on the brand and the way the shirt is cut so I bought the small and like it was really small I'm pretty sure it was a children's size because this came from the Nintendo store and this is a child's large I believe and a child's large should fit about the same as a woman's small except maybe like you know in the chest region because 
like children don't wouldn't have that um so yeah i'm pretty sure amazon lied they were because it said women so i was like oh women's i should get a small it's, no. amazon is a dirty liar or whoever sold it because i think it was like a third party seller I want, should I sit, oh no, I can't go to my back. I was like, I feel like I should sit more back so that you guys can see, like, more of his Nook's face, at least. Welcome back, Carrot Cake. Oh yeah, I'm missing a walking leaf. Oh, I have to time travel to before 5 p.m. for that. Ooh, nice. So right now, let's go to Blathers, have them assess their fossils. Hopefully, we get a new one today for the museum. Nothing new for the museum. Okay. Boo. I wonder if any for any of the like the daily town initiatives, do they ask for things that like are not possible? Cause I remember some of my villagers asking me like for a coelacanth, but I distinctly remember it like not raining, so I guess you would have to go to somebody's town where it was raining, but I don't know if a coelacanth can be caught in somebody else's town, like, you know, just certain, certain bugs won't spawn, um, if people are in your town. Alright, let's empty our pockets, sell off the fossils. The good thing is that fossils, once you get them assessed by blathers, they are worth, like, a decent amount of money. I've seen the clear one initiative, but I got food for it, which means I'm trash. Oh yeah, they want you to dig up garbage, right? Yeah, I've seen that before too, but you can't if you have Beautiful Town on. So that means they do give you things that are like, hard to get. Again, like, I guess technically you could go to somebody's town for that, but I don't know if you can get trash in other people's towns. So, like, would that even apply because it's, like, not your town? Maybe? I don't know. Nose, like, itches. Alright, let's check out Timmy and Tommy. There's a sale. Will they ever get, like, ch chess pieces that I need? I don't know. Julian has one in his house, but I... Unlike Sterling, like, I don't think he'll sell it to you. I guess we can use up the last of our play coins before I have to walk this around the house. <laughs> so that I can get some play coins! You only live once unless you have another guy. Uh, 
One up mushroom, okay. Yeah, I am too. I'm like looking through like the thing. So, 4 a.m. Okay, so Longhorn Beetle, I'm missing. I'm also missing like a giant stag. Um, and a Scarab Beetle. Okay, so I think all those I can catch on the island as long as I time travel to 11 p.m. I'm missing the walking leaf, but I think I need more trees in my town. Uh, to, to catch because they walk around near the trees and I'm also missing a fly I don't know how to get that wow I'm missing like not as many bugs as I thought yeah it's really easy like when you first started the game especially if you start in summer like it's so easy to fill up the museum because like there's so many creatures like this one because I started in April like there was a good amount of stuff but like not like a lot a lot one of my towns, my second town, I started, like, in the winter, and there's just, there's not much to, new stuff to put in the, there's, like, fish, maybe, that, but, like, as far as bugs, not really. Okay. Let's see what's upstairs. Mm, the giant UFO. No, I didn't want to talk to you, Timmy. No, I do not want a flower pop carpet. A hopscotch floor. No, thank you. Right, before I time travel, like, late, I do want to do a couple of things. Alright, so first... We're going to pay off the man. Dory? I don't think the home loan is like that much. Oh, did I pay off my home loan already? Oh, wait. Is this going to be one of those things where, like, I forgot, like, I had to talk to Nook about it? I'm surprised you haven't caught one yet because those are, like, fairly common. Yeah, sometimes it's the common fish that'll get you. The hardest fish for me to catch in Animal Crossing, believe it or not, was the koi fish. In my main town, I spent, like, a whole week staying up until, like, 4 a.m. working on it. I would like to expand. Let's do the left. I feel like that room is pretty crowded compared to the one on the right. Alright, I'm only going to take 1k out of the bank because usually at the island I end up selling my like lesser rare catches to the little girl. It just uh, it makes her happy. I don't know. Alright, let's time travel to 11 p.m. Try to catch a scare beetle in a giant stack, stack, ugh, giant stag, and a longhorn beetle. How do I catch a longhorn beetle? I, this one I think is like found on the stumps. Maybe this one I'm gonna have to plant another tree and then catch it. 
A new leaf for, yeah, okay, so this one I'm gonna have to, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to do today, but I can do the other ones today. Oh my god, afterwards, it didn't become that difficult, but I'm still traumatized. Like, whenever my villagers, at least in Quantico, if they're like, can you catch me a koi fish? I'm like, no! It was, ironically, easier for me to catch the coelacanth. Like, that's how bad it was. And I think a koi fish in Animal Crossing is only, like, I don't think it's a common fish. I think it's, like, uncommon. So, like, it's not a super common fish. But it's not a super rare fish either. Doodly dead, sup? Oh, I didn't go to the police station to see uh, if we have maybe some wandering visitors. So I guess I'll do that before I continue. Giant stag and the scarab beetle, I believe, are caught on the fruit trees. So I'm going to have, like, the poofy ones. So I'm going to have to plant, like, another one and then chop it down. For the sake of catching a longhorn beetle. So... We're just, we're gonna work on that. I really hope I don't get attacked by a scorpion or a tarantula right now. Oh, my nose itches. <sighs> you know when you feel like you have to sneeze and then it goes away? And it's like such an unsatisfying feeling. Sorry, guys. Do you have something against pineapples? <laughs> Oh, I guess I can show you guys now. I always tell you guys that the reason I have those sunglasses is because it's the same ones I wear in real life. Like, literally, these are the same exact sunglasses that I wear in real life. No, I love pineapple without the thick sunglasses. I can't though. But why, but like, why does pineapple specifically like make you not sneeze? <laughs> I love pineapples. They're so good. Although, my favorite fruit is actually a mango. <clears throat> Alex Andreas, sup? I have been putting past my down plan. Da -da 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 -da. Did I say that correctly? Paths do you make your town uh, look much nicer? I'm good. I'm just filling up the empty spots of my town. How are you? Rocked what? Oh man. Oh, awesome. Okay, yeah, I have a very hard time pronouncing fire names. And like Chinese names included because uh my parents did not teach me Chinese. <laughs> Wow, 
What? Why? 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 I don't even need this Emperor Butterfly, but like at this point, I'm determined to catch it just because like I. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Come back! Wow. Okay. Usually it's the egregious butterfly that I can't catch. Also, some of the bugs and fish in Animal Camp Crossing, like I have no idea how to say. Like the coelacanth, I think. Right? Like, does anybody know how to pronounce that? I like. I just heard like one of my friends who like also plays Animal Crossing. She says coelacanth, but like, and I just say it because like that's how she said it. But I actually have no idea if that's correct or not. Well, I said it correct. Since I said it correctly, I will uh, say your name the uh, proper way. I should probably be scaring the bugs off these, right? If I'm trying to catch a scare beetle or like a giant stag. I don't know, how do you guys pronounce it? It seems correct, coelacanth. Or like, you know what's hard to say? A lot of the dinosaur names. And people think that Animal Crossing is a game for little children. <laughs> Oh no, why are you upset? Oh yeah, that you see that's another cycle cycle wait, okay. I would cycloclomat cycloclomatis. I know like in the old games Blathers used to like ramble on if you gave him stuff. I feel like they should have left that in there. Or at the very least, when you go in the museum, they could leave, like, a little card about, like, each of the bug or the fish in there because I they do it for the paintings. They tell you a bit about the real-life paintings. I'm hungry. I'm like, I can't wait to eat. I think we're gonna eat before we see, um... Uh, are any of you guys seeing Teen Titans? <laughs> Don't be depressed. I actually, it's funny you say that because I actually do eat my dinner, like, on stream a lot. But I'm short, and I'm a klutz, so I feel like most of the time, people can't see what I'm doing because I sit, like, when I'm eating, I sit like this so that I don't spill anything. JN, walk, two, three, sup. Oh, fuck. Why is there no fruit on this tree? Is that weird, right? There should be fruit going on. I just realized that. Maybe I should go on one of the tours and bring back a mango. At least I caught that one. It's worth way more than the uh, golden elephant, I think it's called. Thanks for the bits, Jan Walk. I am trying to catch a um, scarab and a scarab beetle and a giant stag tonight. And then at the stream, I'm going to go see Teen Titans. <laughs> when I come back from the island, I only bring back beetles and sharks. 
Um, the other things, either I let them go, or if they're in my pockets, um, they get sold anyway, and they deposit the money into your account, so I sell it to her because it makes her happy. <laughs> like the little catches, I mean. So basically from this pocket, I'm only going to keep the golden stag and the golden elephants. The other stuff I don't want, I'm going to sell to her because it makes her happy. <laughs> like, I don't think these are worth pocket space. Thank you, JN Walk 2-3. Um, I don't know if it's like, I think today is like the, you know how like the midnight premieres, they don't do them at midnight now, they do it at uh, thanks for the follow, King Creeper. Um, as I was saying, I think, like, now midnight releases are done, like, 10 p.m. the day before the movie is supposed to come out. Um, so, I'm um, technically, yeah, it's out in theaters, but I think, the, like, it, it's complicated because the, they changed the midnight releases because of that, that guy that shot up the, uh, Batman movie. Hermit Crab just went and killed himself. That's not weird. Oh, I should go on a tour and bring back a fruit, though, because I don't have one to... I need to plant something that I can chop down in. I guess it doesn't have to be a mango. I just really like mangoes. <laughs> Which one of these would have, like, a thing? Okay, let's do... Let's do the giant dragon... Oh, man, that's a hard one! Uh, it's too late. I committed. I committed to it. Yeah, see, like, this... you They sell it, I think, for half price anyway, so... I like to sell it to that little girl because it makes her happy. Yeah, uh, the guy with, like, the, well, I forgot his name, um, but it was, like, a couple, it was, like, it's been a while, I think I want to say, like, five years ago. Thank you, yes, I, I chose it, I picked it, I gotta commit, I don't see any, oh, 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 oh man. Yeah, 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 yeah. He dressed up as a Joker, and he had, like, I don't know if it was, like, Halloween hairspray, but he had dyed his hair orange. Um, so because of that, midnight releases aren't done at midnight. But if I recall correctly, he didn't actually shoot up the theater at midnight. Okay, so I don't see any uh, fruits on these trees. I see a durian. Oh, I hate durians, though. But I really... Oh, no, no, I'm not running after that one. Yeah, like, I remember um, my friend who works at the Bryan Park ice skating rink. There was a shooting there. This is... This is a long time ago. This I remember because I actually knew somebody who was there when I, who worked there when it happened. This is probably like six years ago. Basically, like these two kids, 
Oh my god, I'm so old that, like, they were only, like, I think 17 and 19, but, like, to me, that's a, that's a kid now. Um, but anyway, they got into, like, some type of fight over a jacket. Um, one of them was asked to leave. I, I know at least one of them was asked to leave. I don't know what happened to, like, the other one. But basically, the guy was upset about being asked to leave, so he came back with a gun and he shot it. He, like, shot into the ice skating rink. And he hit, like, a minimum of two people, but he told me it was, like, total chaos and everything. Everybody was, like, running away, leaving their skates behind. Anyway, the point of this story is that that shooting didn't actually happen at midnight. But the Bryant Park ice skating rink used to be open late because, you know, tourism and stuff. Uh, but now they close at, like, 10 p.m., it's been their policy ever since that happened. Calamari comedy, sup? Okay, I, I wonder if I can catch four more. Number one, this one isn't as hard as I thought. Oh man, these little ones are fast. Come back! Oh, I just trampled the flower. Yeah, it was. He, ha My friend had some military training, so he tried to, like, do his best to, like, control the crowd until, like, the police got there. And he was telling me how, like, this one person, like, people were, you know, obviously, throwing, like, trying to, some people were trying to, like, get their stuff back, uh, you know, from, you know, like, when you ice skate, you can, like, drop off your shoes and your bag, and you can pick it up later. Um... And then some people just, like, left with their... They just, threw, they just like, left with their... Like, they just threw their skates on the floor and, like, went home. But I understand that because, like, you know, like... Bryan Park is, like, a... You know, the ice skating rink, it's very touristy. Like, a lot of families go there with, like, young children. So I understand, like, them, like, wanting to leave immediately after something like that happens. So some person saw his bag... And my friend was trying to tell him that he has to, they have to wait for the police to come, blah, 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 whatever. So the guy basically jumped over the counter, and because he did that, everybody else followed him. And then this guy ended up like, somebody stole his bag or something, he couldn't find it. And he was the one that climbed over the counter, so he like asked Brian, he was like, oh, so are you guys going to replace my stuff? And they were like, uh, no, because... You climbed over the counter when you shouldn't have been. Like, it's his own... Like, if he hadn't done that, there's a possibility that, like, all these people wouldn't have rushed over the counter to grab their stuff. But because he did it, like, everybody else followed suit. You know, like, herd mentality. Is your town, um... Fruit perfect peaches? Because maybe those aren't special. That is scary. But unfortunately, there's not much you can do. Okay, I just need one more dragonfly, and I think I actually can get a gold yeah it, it was only five if i catch one more i can um get a gold badge no online play for me because wi-fi hates me don't be insecure um yeah i think it's double right gold is double whatever the goal is so the goal was five, so, right, like one and a half gets you silver and then double gets you gold? Is that not how it works? I have some stinky durians.
some plants for my violin beetle. You're welcome. I'm pretty sure that's how. I'm not like a hundred percent sure, so don't quote me. Whoa! Thanks for the follow, Digital Meow Mix. <gasps> oh! Oh man, can I catch it? I saw it. No! Come back! Oh, I shit, I caught it at the last second. I'm very surprised, actually. Sup, digital meow mix? I didn't read what he said, so I actually don't know how many medals he gave me, but now I have a durian. So I can plant it and get chop it down so that I can get my tree. So that I can catch my violin beetle. Wow, that was very... I have two towns, so when I have one of those, I just steal my... Uh, roommate flash mods 3ds <laughs> and go on my own town to get signatures for myself I'll just plant it I don't think it's really important where it goes I just have to be able to chop it down um, in three days Was that a giant stag? I think it is. Did I? Oh, I caught it. Is it a giant stag? It is a giant stag! Yeah. Okay, now we got a scarab beetle. Oh, I thought I catch this guy. Oh, this is the one that Sacred Sorcerer said is hard to pronounce. I don't, unfortunately. AC Caitlin, sup? This looks like a fruit beetle. Metaton, sup? <laughs> Thanks for the bits, AC Caitlin. All right, we got a giant stag. I'm gonna leave that blank. You know, hopefully, I'm not being too overly optimistic that I can catch a scarab beetle. I think, like, if you're having trouble finding them, if you go on Google for, like, you know, Animal Crossing Reddit or Tumblr, they should have, like, um, farms where people will help you. Because, like, in Quan in my main town, Quantico, when I started playing, I wanted, one of my goals was, like, complete the catalog. So, from, like, when I went on those websites, like, a lot of people were really nice, and they helped me complete my catalog by cataloging their items. But, like, a lot of the DLC 
that Animal Crossing had was only available in Japan at the time. And since they're helping you, I had to, like, wake up at, like, I had to set an alarm for, like, 4 in the morning to meet these people. Because 4 in the morning here is, like, 5 p.m. for them. They are very nice. Ooh, nice. What are you going to do with the upstairs? Oh, am I lagging? Did you want her to leave? She's a rabbit, right? Okay, no problem. I don't think I caught anything. No, good. I did not. Okay. Oh, I see. Are you gonna are you doing like a traditional house? Your dog is gonna need a pee in like three hours. Uh, scaring anything away that's not a scarab beetle. I'm pretty scarab beetles are like bigger than fruit beetles. I'm pretty sure, and they're like rather uh, shinier. Yeah, a regular. That's yeah. That's what I meant by traditional. Like you're gonna do a bedroom and a bathroom and a living room, etc. But yeah, like what Alex Andreas was saying, like the online Animal Crossing community is super nice. I remember like one time I was like on Tumblr, I was like working and completing my catalog. So I was like scrolling through the Tumblr, like the Animal Crossing hashtags on Tumblr. And some girl wanted some hat. And I happened to have a hat in my catalog. So I was like, oh, I can order it for you. And she was like, oh, sure, I can give you bells. For I was like, okay. And then she was like, I was just going to ask her for, like, the amount of bells that the hat costs, which honestly I think was, like, 500 bells or something. And she was like, I can give you 10,000 bells for it. And I was like, okay, sure. <laughs> I was just going to ask her back for, like, whatever the hat cost costed or maybe, like, 1,000, you know, it was, like, double. But she was like, 10,000. I was like, oh, okay. I'm not going to say no to that. It's hard to, like, try to balance between, like, you know, decorating your home and decorating the town. I have, like, a shit ton of bells in my Max Town Quantico from, like, five years of playing it. Like, especially because I used to be super big into, like, turnip trading. Not so much now because I work, so it's harder for me to do turnips. Because in order for me to do certain things, I have to time travel. Uh, because my real life schedule is so busy. But I have so many bells in that. But I don't want to cheat and like, oh, I don't think it's really cheating if you use your main town to fund your second one. Because you did work for all those bells. But I feel like if I upgrade the houses, you know, order everything from the catalog in this town too quick, I'm not going to have any fun with it. Supply and demand, indeed. Zane fan, sup? Thanks for hosting me, Zane. Oh, nice. Oh, I think this is a scarab beetle. So, I'm gonna catch it. I just need to wait for that tree to grow so that I can get the violin beetle. Hi. Oh, it's a rainbow stag. Oh, I have one of those also.
peaches for the tree in your house? Oh, okay. I thought I wasn't gonna catch it for a second there. Thank you! <laughs> it says forever alone. <laughs> Yeah, how did you break? Did you, you didn't, did you drop the peach or did you plant an actual tree in the, right? Because I don't think you can, there's no peach plants. All right, I have to Google what a scarab beetle looks like in Animal Crossing because I don't remember. Like, I thought I knew, but apparently I don't. Oh, yeah, I was right. It's more, it's a little bigger. It look, Okay, it says it looks like the fruit beetle in size and shape with only golden color separating it. But I feel like the scarab beetle is bigger. But I might have mixed it up with the rainbow stag. Oh, I almost went out the door. Yeah, how did you do the peach trees? Oh god, I'm gonna catch that oak silk moth because I I don't want to scare it away because I hate the sound. Oh, it wasn't an oak silk moth. It looked like it. I don't know why I thought that. Never mind. Ooh, golden sag. Goliath beetle. I picked one of the. Oh, like in the backyard. You, I thought you meant you had one like in your house. That's why I was confused. I was like, how did he get them in his house? Do I just have to catch all of these and hope that, like, oh, well, I can't catch that one because I scared it away? Oh, motherfucker. Okay. Well, I've effectively scared away the past few bugs. Oh man. I'm trying to get the dream address badge thingy in my main town. So if you send it to me, like on Twitter um, or my Discord, whatever, something like that, so that I can see it later, I'll take a look at it. I am on Discord. You can do command Discord to see it. Join the Discord fam, guys. <laughs> there we go. We have commands now for all my social media, guys. Because I know for, like, mobile users... Um, the panels are not very convenient. Why can I not catch anything on that tree? Okay. Mm. 
Yep, that's my YouTube. Yeah, I heard that it takes like a bunch of clicks to do it or something like that. Oh my god, I scared it. It flew away. Oh, I did not like that. Okay. I really don't like those. Yeah, I watch Twitch sometimes at work on my cell phone. Um, if there's like, if I don't have any meetings and it's kind of like a slow time, like if my friends sign on to Twitch, I'll drop by and say hi. And on mobile, the mobile display is really different from like what we see on the computer. I don't understand why the bugs in Animal Crossing are so suicidal. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I've seen some really good QR codes of that, like, on Pinterest. Like, is it worse to be caught to and live in my museum than to run off in the water? Like, they would have had such a nice home and a house and a museum with blathers to take care of them, and they would rather, like, commit suicide and run off in the water. Catch some stuff for it! It's summer, so there's, like, a lot of good bugs right now. How do you make your money? Through turnip trading? Man, I'm waiting, like, I'm super excited for, like, when the Switch comes out, um, the Animal Crossing comes out on the Switch, but I'm, oh, oh, focus, okay, um, I'm also really worried about, like, like I said, I do a lot of time traveling because of work, so, am I gonna be able to buy a shit ton of turnips and, like, make fast money again? Or am I just gonna have to, like, rely on, like, slow grinding of beetles. Alright, let's catch all these freaking beetles. I'm pretty sure I know what a scarab beetle looks like. Yeah, that's, that's a fruit beetle. Ooh, that's a unique town name. <laughs> Sacred Sorcerer, how's a Diagon Alley coming along? Ooh, golden. Nice to meet you, Quinn. So, yes. Yeah, you okay? Hi, I'm sorry. I butchered uh, your name pronunciation. That's a cute name for a town. Why do you regret it? 
Oh, are you are you done putting tiles all over your town so that you can move them so that you can plot reset? Okay. Oh, it's another giant stag. They are worth a good amount of money. How did you end up doing the town? Does it? I mean, technically my main town, the aesthetic doesn't match the name I picked for it either, but I don't care. <laughs> Ooh, is it like super foresty? Okay, my box is getting full and I still don't have a scarab beetle. But lots of bells to pay off the man, so there's always that. Uh, if only I could convert my bells into real life money and pay off my student loans. Uh, my lord. <laughs> That's when I make my villagers call me. Well, in this in Hogwarts because that's what like you know Voldemort has his the his minions the Death Eaters call him, and then in Quantico I just have them call me like Your Majesty or my Princess. Kathy Sama Bows that be too. Is Sama Bows in Jap? Is that Japanese? It sounds Japanese. Got it. Yeah, I don't know Japanese. <laughs> I can barely speak my uh, mother language, if you will. Oh, another giant stag. Okay. Yeah, I feel like once you catch one, they start spawning like a lot more. Yeah, well, technically, that would be like. I would say that's like my native language, but when I say like the mother language, I mean like what my parents speak. You should play. Oh, did you want the persimmons for the same reason I did, which is because like they look kind of like pumpkins? What is yours? I, based off your name, I want to say Greek, but I, I could be wrong. Yeah! <laughs> Although, have you ever had one in real life? They're really good. Was I? Uh, I'm trying to think, like, what else would be close to Greek? Turkey? I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's 12,000 bells right there. <laughs> it's ancient and no longer has a country as so a general part of the world. Oh, I see. Oh, 
Okay, I'll look at it after stream. <laughs> oh, I can. Oh, I can check it now from here. Oh wait, I'm looking at it now. Kate sent something. My lord. Oh, you did it! <laughs> Here's a picture. Ooh, I like your outfit. Your garden looks very nice. I like the peaches. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to, like... I didn't go to the island specifically to catch them. I'm actually trying to catch, like, a giant stag, which I did, as well as a scarab be Oh, thank God that he didn't scare away that shark. But, I mean, I'll catch whatever beetles are there. Motherfuck! Oh, he's still there. Ah, motherfucker! Itchy trigger finger! <laughs> Whoever said that Animal Crossing is a relaxing game lied. It is not a relaxing game. Yes! Oh my god! People, my roommates come in if I ever, like, miss... Especially, like, the last few days, I've been scorpion and tarantula hunting. So, like, whenever I got attacked by one, I would be, like, in here yelling at the computer. And, like, they came in here and they were like, Is everything okay? <laughs> I was like, No! I got bit by a freaking tarantula! And they were like, Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you alone with your problems. <laughs> yeah, they were like super concerned. They were like, "Are you hurt?" Like the first few times, they thought like I I got hurt or something. So like, at first they were like really concerned, but then after that they just came in. They were like, "You okay? Okay, you know what? Okay." <laughs> Animal Crossing. I could see how like some people would like think this game is like relaxing or like that their play style is probably like more relaxed. But, like, I'm super hardcore when it comes to, like, Animal Crossing. I make lists and Excel spreadsheets. And I plot reset, plot resetting. Oh, my God, plot resetting. I'm so happy with the Welcome Amiibo update. They made it easier. Ooh, the Chase Lounge is really nice. You can custom... You, I think Cyrus will do it in different colors for you. I'm just, like, a very type A personality. <laughs> like, I got good at using Excel from work, and then I just, I used it for everything. Ooh, Sacred Sorcerer, do you have the Sanrio cards? It's fancy. I did one in green to put in the Slytherin um, common room that I'm working on right now. Oh yeah, I remember we were talking about this because it, like they actually came out in Europe, but like not in America because Nintendo hates Americans. I, which is I, I guess that's fair. Um, because I remember now because I was telling like some of the people in the chat. That, like, if they don't want to spend, like, $80 on some cards, they have the option to go, like, on Etsy and buy fan-made ones. And I think, like, a couple people did actually buy them at my suggestion. I've heard that... Oh. I've heard that they work pretty good. Uh, I hope nobody's game gets corrupted because I told them to buy it. You can get those through the uh, fortune cookies, I think. You have to um, have sold a certain amount of things to Reese, as well like as a certain amount of like items in your catalog. 
So I think like on average it takes like a week. Yeah, I heard some of so some of the reviews I read on Etsy, they said that the cards felt cheap, but I don't think that's a big deal because I mean, one, they're fan-made. You're not getting them, like, from the manufacturer, like, Nintendo or Sanrio. I don't know, whoever made them. So, for starters, you are getting, like, a fan-made one. And it's, like, way cheaper. So, I mean, like, can you, for that cost, can you really complain? Buttered up all your, like, did you put Aquaphor on them or something? I think the, oh yeah, like I was, the biggest complaint is that the cards seem cheap, but as long as they work, like, in the game and don't, like, cause any game issues, like, I, I don't see how that's, like, a big deal. I've never heard of that before. I will never forgive Nintendo for, like, making me fall in love with my villagers and then coming out with, like, the Sanrio cards after because at that point I was, like, too attached to my villagers to let them move. And my town is already, like, very pink, girly themed, so I didn't want to do that again, which is honestly, like, the town aesthetic that would fit with those villagers. That's why I named this town Hogwarts, because I wanted to do something different. I, it would be kind of boring for me to do, like, what I've already been working on for the past five years again. You need a certain amount of items cataloged and sold to Reese. When did you, did you start your town recently? Or did you like restart it? But when, when, if you don't have Cyrus unlocked yet, that must have mean, like, you restarted it, like, pretty recent, I think, right? Let's see, okay, how to unlock Cyrus. To use the service, four conditions must be met. 100,000 bells worth of items have been sold to Reese. 50 pieces of furniture have been cataloged, found at the Nookling stores. 10 pieces of clothing cataloged from the Able Sisters. And the player has played for seven days. Those are the requirements to get Cyrus. Okay, so that means you have to, that means you've been playing the game long enough, you just need, like, more stuff in your catalog. Ooh, maybe I can catch this shark without scaring it away. Or everybody uh, that is home. Oh, 
Okay, I caught it this time. Yeah. It is a saw shark. Which home loan are you on right now? Oh, I wasn't even that close to the fucking tree, man! Leaf from- oh, there's the maple- are there that many? There's like the maple one, and then there's like the- there's one that Gracie sells, I believe, right? And then there's one that's an actual, like, the umbrella shape is, like, regular, but it has grass. Oh, no, that would be grass, not leaf. Never mind. You just sell it to Reese. Oh my god, wait, you have to go look at Eric's stream later. I was talking to him, I was talking about, you know how the Scarlet Witch, right? You know how her accent like disappears? From, and I was like, doesn't make any sense, because she develops like an American accent, but she's hiding in Europe. And he's like, but she's a spy, blah, blah, blah. And then he says, Scarlet Johansson. I'm like, Eric, you fucking shithead. I'm talking about the Scarlet Witch, not the Black Widow. And he thinks he knows comic books better than me? Well, I mean, don't sell stuff like... If you're using it in your house and you actually like it. Um, but honestly, for me, like, I, one of my things is, like, cat, um, not in this game, catalog completion, but in my old game, I would buy stuff from Nookwings and then sell it. Hey, Maria, sup? I mean, it makes you unlock stuff faster, like, and because, like I said, I don't want to sell stuff that I actually want. But my friends would be annoyed because if I would let them in my town, they would, like, they would want to, like, look around my shop and buy stuff. And they couldn't because I had already bought everything. Because I was, like, when this game came out, I was obsessed. I would be, like, I need to unlock everything. Let me buy this furniture. Yeah, that's what I do it. Chiara Zila, sup? No, it's just, it's Tom Nook. It says, ooh, it says forever alone. <laughs> I heard that, like, in the... Oh, yeah, because he wants your money. I heard that, like, in the original Animal Crossing, not just, like, for the GameCube, like, the, there was one Animal Crossing game that hadn't been, um, that o was only released in Japan and wasn't, like, translated for, like, other releases. 
Um, I think. Whatever, the point is it's an old Animal Crossing game. Apparently, if you took your shovel and you banged it against Nook's door, he would let you in the shop, but stuff would cost more, and the stuff that you were selling, you would get less money for. And apparently, like, if you did this on Christmas, um, Tom Nook, like, beat you up because you wouldn't be able to start your game up until, like, the next day or something. It is very punny. I love bad puns. Bye, Alexandrias. Thanks for stopping by. Well, if you really want to um, unlock Cyrus faster, like that, that is the way to go about it. Thanks for the follow, Alexandrius. I did know that because, well, I heard that he would buy your town, um... But I didn't know for how much. <laughs> yeah, 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 he comes out in his PJs. Tom Nook, if you wake him up early on Christmas morning. <laughs> I think so. I think this is the one that didn't, I think there was one that didn't get, like, ported over for other, like, um, countries, and it was only available in Japan, but the point is, it was, like, an older, uh, Animal Crossing game that did that. Lab? You mean the sewing machine? Is it the big one or the little one?
Oh, okay, that's the king one, I believe. Yeah, and then did you do furniture also? Because you also have to catalog like a bunch of uh, furniture items. I did not catch a scarab beetle. Um, so I guess I'm going to go home, empty the box, and try it again. But I we did get like a pretty good haul from the island, so... You know, I'm not, I'm not mad. Because, uh, we just expanded the house. We need money to pay off Nook. Yeah, time traveling's not cheating. Nintendo wouldn't put put that in the game if they didn't want us to do it. That's how I justify it. So many fruit beetles. Alright, well, now our box is full. Ooh, hello. Ah, motherfucker. Wasn't straight enough. Well, that's it. These are the bugs that are coming home with us. We do have something new to put in the museum, so that's very good. Even though we didn't get our um, scarab beetle, but... We'll come back. Second trip to the island. I'm gonna sell my pockets off to make this little girl happy. Alright, let's go home.
Oh god, alright, my pockets are gonna be full of twirls and shit that I don't need. I'm just gonna dump it on the beach so that I can run... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Welcome back! Um, so I can go back between the house and the box quicker. I'm not gonna waste time time traveling right now because I want to fill up the museum as fast as possible. So, first we've got these. Right, let's go to Blathers and donate the giant stag first. Giant stag, yay! Or you can check that off our list. The best way to make or give stuff out is to shovel up the bushes and leave. Oh, I hate catching the bees. I just, I stick with the beetles and shark honey. Plus, right now, like I said, I'm trying to catch a scarab beetle for the museum. Oh, what do I have? Okay. This, I'm gonna put in here. And I guess these will all go here until tomorrow when I will sell them off. Yeah, rainbow stag. Autocorrect is the worst. When have I ever in my life talked about ducks? I don't know, but uh, autocorrect thinks I talk about ducks a lot. Uh, scarab beetle. Here, where can I catch it? I'm pretty sure that they're caught on the fruit trees. Yeah, it is a fruit tree. May is it because that tree doesn't have fruit on it? Because all the other pictures I see, like, those trees have fruits on them. Even though mine is, like, poofy. If you want money, get bee- Oh, because you said B-E, I, I thought you meant, like, bees. Because I know that the bees do sell for a decent amount. Ness, what's up? <laughs> oh, wait, no, I wasn't done yet. Hey, Marshall Crossing! Yeah, it is! Get everything that was on the trees at the end of the world, but everything that was going in the water and catch everything in the water and trees at the island. Oh, where do you work? 
Yeah, I. That's why I have only two. I have two palm trees and then one fruit tree on my island. I see. Sounds like hard work. That's why I don't grow them. <laughs> I love the music in Animal Crossing, um, especially like the music they play when it's like raining or snowing. Oh man, he killed himself. I didn't have my net on me to catch him anyway. <laughs> it should be more popular. I don't know why it's not. I like your outfit. You should wear it for when, um, guess I'm going back to the island, Captain. Don't judge me. If, but yeah, you should wear it, um, to do the Thanksgiving event if your game has it. I feel like such a everyone. Ooh, where did you find it? That's smart. Maybe, I feel like I should have. No, I like that Bubblegum KK is the song that plays in my main room of my house. Um, my first town is like a random hodgepodge of things that I like coming together. The the, the my town too, in Quantico is the Pretty Little Liars theme song. Yeah, Leaf Maple. Oh, the maple. Wait. Oh, the maple's a red one, and then there's a green one. The candy, is that the pink one? That makes it sound like you are looking at like kinky Japanese porn. <laughs> Here's some Japanese kinky porn, but also corner pieces to the paths that you were looking for in Animal Crossing. What kind of path was it? Yeah, I feel like cobblestone pads go really well, like, with any, like, mildly Harry Potter-themed towns. Did you catch it?
Aw, oh, man. Do you at least have one for your museum? He can, but I feel bad skipping his song because he gets so mad when you... <laughs> and, then, like, the first time I, like, mashed B like that, I didn't want to skip the song, like... I didn't want him to skip it entirely. I just wanted him to sing it faster. But he got he got really mad and he yelled at me. So, so now I let him sing. Oh, nice. How many tons do you have? I would say first you should donate your fossils to the museum and then sell them. But everybody's like different. Mother fucker. Oh, nice, like me. Yee. Hammerhead shark. Yeah, so after he did that, I was like, okay, fine, I'll let you sing your song. I didn't want him to, like I said, I didn't want to skip it. I just wanted him to sing it, like, faster, uh, but he got mad. So I was like, oh, okay, I guess we're listening to him sing. Good luck. Thanks for the follow, Solar Flare Stairs. You should probably sleep soon. <laughs> yes, share it with us. <laughs> Is this what I wanted? It looks like a rainbow stag again, to be honest. Yeah. I need to see a picture of what the scared beetle looks like on a tree. I feel like then I'll know, like, if I'm scaring away the wrong thing. But scared beetles are usually uh, shinier. <laughs> okay. Wait, you're putting pads down in your town already? Did you move everybody in where you want them to yet? Because I thought you just finished covering them up like in QR codes. Based on how he didn't run away from me, I'm pretty sure this is a fruit beetle. Does that work? But don't you need to give yourself enough space to like... get around the tree or whatever. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. For me, I everybody does it differently, I guess. For me, I like to have, like, the main buildings in town done so that I can, like, you know... It just Personally, for me, I think it's easier to run around. Work around.
Yeah, but how do you, like, go, like, you know when your box gets full, or uh, when your pockets are full, how do you walk back? Or do you dig, like, ooh, it is, is this my scarab beetle? It looks like it. No, I scared it away! I'm pretty sure that was it! <laughs> oh, my life. I caught this one, which I already have. Unhelpful. Like I said, everybody has their own play style, so... That's just what I personally like to do. Thank you. Ooh, yum. A what? Mmm, dinner time, guys. I need to go to the, uh, ooh. Which fish are you missing? Oh, I think it's, personally, I like to run around a lot. I th feel like it helps with the spawn. Can I show you guys my food without making a mess? Ah! Oh, yes, okay. I'm not gonna hold it, angle it any more than that. Um, because I don't want to drip all over the desk, uh, because it's not mine. Yes. Is that a new bug for you? And a mukbang. Although I heard that mukbangs are supposed to be like a shit ton, like a whole feast. So I like to eat my dinner on stream just because I don't take that long to eat. So I feel like for 20 minutes it's okay for me to sit here and eat. And it gives me a chance to interact with you guys and just talk. Captain Boats up. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Although, I am eating like noodles, so 
that probably is like the ASMR sounds because of the slipping. I'm sorry, guys. Did you reset your town recently? It's like bait. No, I meant like before that. Oh, wow. Do you like the new town better? Yeah, that's why I time travel to like 11 p.m. I'm sorry, guys, I'm hungry. I can't help it. Mm, what's your map like? Her name sounds familiar, but I like I can't put a face to the name right now. Uh, what's his name? Karaopi? Or something? I'm probably saying that wrong. Because it's like, foreign. I mean, honestly, the important thing is that you're happy with the town. Like, if you're not enjoying playing it, I feel like you should reset if you feel like it'll make you enjoy the game more. I'm skipping over it. Certain town layouts do seem more spacious. Like, I don't like towns where they have that little skinny piece of land on the side, you know, by the campground. I feel like not only do those maps seem like they're harder to work with, but also... Um, it just... Because it's hard to work with, you can't place anything there, which I feel like... I feel like it takes up more space. I feel like that probably got worse once they added the campgrounds. Like, I hated in Quantico where they put my, um, campground. I had already decorated the town perfectly, and then I had this other thing. I just... I just left it as it was. I 
That's why you gotta buy more and hoard them. I heard about that, the fountain thing. Mm. I think the town plaza, like, for me, I like it in the bottom also, but that's just because that's where my first town, that's how it was done in my first town. My brother likes the plaza in the center because that's the center of the town, and then it's easy to, like, pan out and plan things. The worst is when you get a good map, and then you don't like the grass pattern. I love stationary supplies. Love. I don't like that either. It makes it really hard for me because I'm bad at math. Yeah, I really hope we get backyards and stuff. Like, front yards, whatever. You know what I'm saying. From Happy Home Designer.
easily, easily my worst subject when I was in school. Hated it. And then, like, kids would only want to be my friend because, like, they thought that they could cheat off me in math. And then when they realized I was stupid, like, they didn't want to talk to me anymore. Jerks. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I think I ate too fast. <laughs> Alright guys, it's 7 o'clock, I gotta get off, I'm headed out to see Teen Titans, follow me if you haven't already, check out my Instagram, YouTube, Twitter down below, join the Discord fam, Good night, guys, bye, I love you, and they did suck.